Finally, man, I was falling asleep over there. Jesus. Um, so I sense a little bit of uh, a little bit of nervousness around this area. All oh, this little section right here. You guys, uh, you know what? I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here, personally. Um, Floyd and T. Mayweather, thank you for the opportunity. But then again, let's not forget, I am the current WBC welterweight champion of the world. And that will remain. And I'm going to teach you what it feels like to have that one on your record, bro. I have two, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, two and two, you know. It just kind of happens, you know. Not a biggie, no biggie. It's going to be very, very nice, bro, just to do what everybody else has tried and failed. Uh, 41 and oh, I think, something like that. Um, 41 of those weren't me. 41 of those couldn't move like me. Oh, we're talking about class here. <laughs> somebody's, somebody's scared, but you know what? Saturday night, I will hold my hands up. I'm going to put you on your ass. You ain't got to get a First off, I always got to acknowledge you know, first off, I want to thank God, because without God, all is going to be possible. <clears throat> There's so many different people that I want to thank, so many different sponsors. And first, I want to thank my team, you know, Team Mayweather, the money team. You guys done a hell of a job. You guys, <clears throat> talking about camp, camp was tremendous. My team done a hell of a job. Um, Golden Boy Promotions, Richard Schaefer, you are you guys always go beyond. You guys do a hell of a job. Mark Taffet, Jose Suleiman, Mr. The Younger Suleiman, I'm sorry, and a father. Um, Oscar, you guys done a hell of a job with Victor Ortiz's career. I'm not gonna say right. I don't have to sit up here and brag and boast about my accolades of what I've done in the sport. It speaks for itself. I don't have to knock his trainer, knock him, discredit him for nothing that he's done. It's obvious he got here for doing something right. And I got here, and I've been here for 16 years from doing something right. I fought undefeated fighters. I fought knockout punchers. Fought them all. Never backed down. Stayed focused. Always stayed in control. And always at, was at my best. Al Heyman, of course, you know, couldn't do it without you. Um, team up top, um, Sai Uwali, he's fighting on the undercard. He's with my team. Kania Bowser Edwards. Um, who else we got? We got Jesse Vargas and um, Deion Savage. Um, that's that's my team, you know. Um, all the press, the media, you know. I want to thank you guys, you know, for keeping me relevant. Even with my long layoff, you guys kept me relevant. And I really want to thank you. You know, it's just, you know, jealousy won't get you nowhere. You know, so I'm, I've never been jealous of no one. And like I said before, um, it's, you know, certain things you, certain things you see that you do like and there's certain things that you don't like. No, it's all of a sudden, I don't respect Mayweather. I never was a fan of Mayweather. But you know my record, you know everything about me, you know everybody that I fought. But it's okay, you know, come come Saturday, I don't have to brag, I don't have to boast. Um, before the fight, I don't have to do nothing. I go in there, I'm going to execute the game plan. I'm going to go in there with class and leave with class. Is Victor Ortiz a good fighter? Yes, he is. If, if it's an easy task or a hard task, I put in the hard work to put up a tremendous fight and get a fan's excitement. So you guys don't have to worry about me um, backpedaling. I'm coming straight ahead. So hopefully he's coming straight ahead. He said the fight won't go to distance. I said the fight won't go to distance. So it won't go to distance. Um, my team, there's so many people that I want to thank, you know, that's been there, been behind me, and have supported me. You know, I come from a fighting family. I've been doing this my whole life, 
Never worked a job. Never had a job. My job has always been to win. I was I was built on winning. This country was built on winning. And like I like I always say, Mayweather loves Mexico. I love to take a vacation to Cancun and to Cancun and Cabo San Lucas and my favorite places. But there's no country like America. You know, every time you see different athletes come to the American soil and, and, and acknowledge their country and, and, and acknowledge their flags, I'm going to acknowledge this America, the red, white, and blue. 9-11, I stand strong for this country. Victor Ortiz, your team has done a hell of a job. This is my fifth time doing 24-7. You guys, you guys were entertaining. The brother from the surfing, actually, you shot me when I seen you a surf. I'm like, oh shit! So you know, you're an amazing athlete. Come Saturday, I know you're gonna bring your best. You're in tip top condition. I'm in tip top condition. So let's get the fans what they want to see. They want to see excitement. They want to see blood, sweat, and tears. That's what we're here to give them. He talked about. He had good work for. His training camp, you know, I had tremendous work for my training camp. Kasim Uma, DeAndre Lattimore, Sekou Powell, and a couple other guys. So I had strong, strong work. You know, I don't call work, I don't call them spawn, spawn partners because that's a sign of disrespect. I call it good, strong, solid work, and that's what I have for this camp. The media, you guys, done a hell of a job. A hell of a job. But there's a lot of people that's behind the scenes. People don't know. I got to acknowledge 24-7 on both sides. On Victor's side, on my side, um, Lee. Um, the commercial was unbelievable. Everything um, never exposed his hand and tell him that, you know, I know the real truth, that his father didn't leave. But it's good for TV. No, yeah, his father didn't leave. Yeah, and he went to high school in California. But I got to do my homework. That's my job to to do my homework on certain individuals. You know, I know he got problem making weight. I'm at weight right now. Feel good. Feel strong. Walk around at 147. So come Saturday, be the same Mayweather. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be the same Victor Ortiz. But the difference between me and you is I can adjust and adapt. Versatile. I get hit with a good shot, no problem. Shake it right off. I'm still coming at you. I'm a good finisher too. So, like I said before, your trainer said, talked about being dirty. When I hit you, I hurt you. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't hold on at all. I'm going to finish you off. Easy. So, if you out there, if you out there, bet it won't go. And I gave off of my bet. I told Oscar, I bet him $2.5 million, and I bet Victor Ortiz, his purse, $2.5 million, that I will be victorious. I believe in my skills. I believe in my talent. If no one believes in Floyd Mayweather, I believe in me. Thank you, thank you, Floyd. Thank you, Victor. Thank you to all of the fighters. Uh, we're excited. I think the stage is set for a tremendous night of boxing this coming Saturday, September 17th, MGM Grand, live on HBO pay-per-view. Now we're going to post the fighters, and we all see you at uh, the weigh-in. Thank you.